Hi guys, Me So here with Me So Making It. Welcome to my kitchen today where I am gonna be making some chicken and dumplings. So uh, my idea was to make some chicken and dumplings from scratch, you know, the old fashioned way. I don't have time for that today. I've been out all day, I've been very busy, so I grabbed some stuff to make it real quick. Now the thing about this is it's, it's a very quick and a shortcut type recipe, but it's gonna be just as good as if you made it from scratch. So really, ain't that better? So what we're gonna do is assemble this stuff and we're gonna have it all prepared in just no time at all. And that's what I have today is no time at all, so I gotta do it this way. Okay guys, come and go with me into the kitchen. So what I'm going to be using for this recipe of chicken and dumplings is just a um, savory rotisserie chicken that I picked up from Kroger. Um, you see that I paid $5.99 for it. So it's going to be a good deal. And I'm not even going to have to use all of this chicken. I also have some um, dumplings. These are just, um, they're no yolk. I don't usually buy the no yolk uh, if I can find the regular ones. They, they do make just the regular dumplings and they have the full egg in them. But these are yolk, no yolk and they'll be okay. So I have my chicken open and I'm just gonna reach in here and get this little guy out. I'm gonna pour these juices uh, that came from the chicken. I'm gonna pour this right down into this waiting pot that I'm gonna be cooking my dumplings in. Here I have the chicken, and I am going to remove this little piece of string that comes on it. Just going to tear, begin to tear the chicken apart. I want a lot of the um, back in here because what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to increase my broth. So I'm just going to break off this back, and I'm going to put it into my waiting pot. Let me get my knife, that'll help me get some of it off. So I'll put a little bit of the back and it has a little bone in it. I'll put some of the bone in there too because all of that will just make a better broth. And what I'm gonna do is when I get through boiling that, I am going to be able to go ahead and strain it. I'm taking the skin off. Can you see that? I'm taking the skin off and I'm going to put it in the water also because it will help with the uh, making the broth. It will help with making my broth become thicker. So here you see that I just have the uh, skin and the back and some of those portions in here and I'm going to just let these boil for about 15 minutes. Just trying to render off more of that fat. You can see in the water already, now you see the fat. So we just need a little bit more. This is going to be so simple. You're going to get the taste of good old fashioned country, slow cooked uh, chicken and dumplings. But you're going to be able to do this guy here in about 20 minutes. Okay, let's bring it up to a boil. While we're waiting on that, I'm just going to go ahead and begin to clean my chicken up and get it ready to go into the pot. So when I say clean it up, I mean like take this ugly, these pieces of fat and uh, just what was right up under the skin. I'm going to just take that off. Don't want that in the pot. I just cut my finger, guys. So that's why I'm kind of holding it out like it, <laughs> like it's not a part of my hand, but it's still kind of throbbing a little bit, letting me know that it's there. Okay, those are my breasts. I'm gonna uh, take the skin off of this thigh and this drumstick. And I'm going to um, cut this up also. You know, I said I wasn't going to use the whole chicken, but I think I will. And um, that being said, let me just get this skin and put this skin into the pot.
This is boiling here, and I'm going to let it boil for a few minutes longer. Just trying to get extract all of that fat from the skin and the flavor from the bones. Over here I have my chicken. Just going to go ahead and give my chicken a rough chop. Okay, so my bones and my fat and skin, they boil long enough, and I'm putting them in a drainer here, a strainer, and I'm just draining out all the liquids, and you see the bones and what's left. This broth, you see the fat in there? So I saved the bag that I got the chicken out of, and I'm just putting those bones back into that bag, and I can drop it right into the, my garbage. Here I am putting the broth back into the same pot. You see the sheen of the oil that's going into the pot from the bowl? Very nice. I'm going to get this chicken right down into that broth. A little bit of garlic in. Just a little bit of adobo. Some poultry seasoning. And you're going to do all of this to your taste. I'm not going to add any salt right now because the chicken was seasoned. Here I have some chopped spring onions, and I'm just going to put, this is about a fourth of a cup. Give it a little stir. I have two tablespoons of butter here. This is optional. You don't have to use that. I'm getting in my bag of dumplings. Give it a little stir. And a little bit of sage. So I'm going to go ahead and add here three more cups of hot water, just so I don't lose temperature in my pot. Use the water hot. So it's been cooking for a while. I did add three more cups of hot water because my water was getting low and you want to keep lots of water in here for broth. I'm just making a slurry of four tablespoons of flour and three and uh, three fourths cups of water. Just going to make sure there are no lumps in this because I want it to be a little thicker. Because I'm using no yolks, they don't get as thick as the ones with yolks in it. Got to get this slurry right down into the pot. Stir it. Make sure you always stir it and make sure there's nothing sticking at the bottom. Cover it. Let's cook it a little longer. Oh, here we go. We're getting there. Look at this. Ah, yes. So I'm just making sure that nothing is sticking to the bottom of my pot. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, it's just about eating time. Mmm. Now, some people add peas to this or other vegetables. You could add some parsley. But I am just going to keep it like this. You could also add celery. Let me get a little taste. Mmm. Okay, I need just a little bit of salt. Remember, I didn't put any salt in from the beginning. This is a teaspoon and a half of salt. Let's taste again. Mm. So hot, but it's good. It's ready. Let's go ahead and serve some up. Now, I like a lot of broth. If you don't want as much, just play it by ear, and you can put in less water. It will give you less broth. If you want your broth thicker, put in a little more flour. Ugh, let's go taste it. Look at this. Looky, looky, looky. Oh, God, you see the, you see the uh, spring onions? You see how these dumplings have become soft? Oh, goodness. Mm. So 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 good oh look at this broth just the right amount of thickness for me good old southern eating ah i don't need anything else to go with this okay i can hear you guys saying it you're saying taste it me so taste it and that's just what i'm gonna do Oh, it's so hot, but it is so good. Oh, it's so good. Rainy day, chicken dumplings. 
Jose, chicken and dumplings. Hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is good. You guys gotta try this at home. This is great. You know, chicken and dumplings, they actually do have benefit. There's some thing about the broth that comes from the chicken, that if you have a cold or you're sick, that broth actually helps you and it helps to get phlegm from your chest. And that's why you've always heard people say that if you um, got a cold, you know, make some chicken soup. And uh, a lot of times we didn't know why, but there is actually some health and medical benefit to eating that chicken broth. And so this is not chicken soup. This is chicken and dumplings. Hey, you're not supposed to eat that yet. <laughs>